master javascript in 10 days this roadmap will teach you that what you have to learn exactly what are the topics you have to cover to learn faster javascript and as you go ahead and build project you will learn more so this is for the complete beginner who just want to learn javascript and is wondering that what are the topics to be covered because javascript is such a vast topic so in this video i'll give you the complete roadmap which help you and give you a proper guidance that what you have to follow exactly before we start with the javascript we have to know that why we have to learn javascript there are other programming language but why we have to learn javascript so as a blockchain developer, I want to highlight few things that why you have to learn JavaScript and how it's going to help you in your blockchain development, in your front-end development, in your back-end development. If you look at the JavaScript, it's a multi-purpose language. You can write the back-end code using Node.js. It's written in JavaScript. If you want to come and build the front-end, you can do that using any popular library like Next.js, TypeScript, React.js, Angular, Vue.js. All of these libraries are available to you to build your front end using the power of JavaScript. If you talk about the blockchain, you're going to use the popular library like Web3 model, Ether.js, Web3.js. All of these libraries are written in JavaScript. And if you talk about the Solty smart contract, and you will find the person similarity in JavaScript and the Solty. So it is the powerful language which you have to learn in 2023. Whether you want to become a Web2 developer or a Web3 developer, focus on the front end or on the back end. JavaScript is must without JavaScript. You can't able to be a good and successful developer as per whatever I have seen so far. So now let's talk about that. What are the topics you have to learn in the next 10 days to master JavaScript? And this is the complete roadmap you have to follow for learning the JavaScript in the next 10 days. First day, you have to start with the variables, which will not take you more than an hour if you truly give your 10 minutes and try to understand that how you have to declare a variable what are things are there in the variable then comes the data type after that you have to focus on the data structure then you have to focus on the equality comparison after that loops and irritations then control flow then we have advanced data structure then we have the functions then we have the asynchronous working with API class and modules. So these are the important topics you have to know because when you will start working and building application, whether it's a DAP or front end application, you're going to use all of this topic heavily. You're going to declare different type of variable. You need to build a data type, data structure. You need to build a logic and that you're going to use quality comparison. After that, you're going to build some sort of loop like for loop, or while loop and after that you're going to use the control flow advanced data structure for data irritation from the back end then you're going to build different type of functions arrow function normal functions async functions so tons of types of function we have then we have a asynchronous you have to know because after 2018 there was an introduction in java skill called ECMA 6 and that is so powerful if you master that it will make your life very easy in terms of api call and rendering the component rendering the data in the front end after that you have to know that how work with an api because you're going to use some sort of api for fetching the data if you talk about the about the blockchain you're going to use chain link inside the contract for fetching the balance of the token and well a logic if you talk about the decading the data from a cryptocurrency or movie application or for any news you're going to use some sort of api for rendering the data after that you have to focus on the classes and i would say that you have to give at least two days on the classes because these are the important topics which you have to master if you know classes it would be very easy for you to master solidity because if you look at the solidity program language it follows the classes model which we have in the javascript and you have to know that how models work because if you reuse the react angular vue.js next.js or typescript they all follow this modules and this one is the latest one it got introduced after ECMA 6 so these are the topics you have to cover now let's talk about that what are the things you have to cover in each one of this topic so here i have the list that what you have to exactly learn in each one of these topics so first start with the variable in that you have to understand that how variable declaration work this is the three option you have to declare a variable var let and const so you have to know the fundamental that how you can declare a variable where you can declare what are the global scope or the functional scope so you have to understand about each one of these variables so these are the three variables you have to master after that you have to know about the naming rules because there are some keyword which you can't use as a variable so you have to know about the naming rules that how you can apply the name to your variables once you're done with that you have to understand that how hosting work 
and this one is a simple topic so you have to learn about it after that you have to understand about the scope because when you will declare your variables it's going to be in any one of these categories so whether it would be a block scope function scope a global scope so these are the things you have to master and this will not take you more than an hour if you practice with example so i want you to focus on these particular keyword these particular variables and check with different example give two hour at least two hours one hours for learning and the next one hour for doing practice so these are the things you have to cover in the variable let's move to the next one the next one we have is the data type and don't be afraid with this so many boxes i have highlighted here these are the topics you have to cover in the data type so so if we talk about the primitive data type in that we have close to seven types of data first string number big int boolean undefined symbol and null and the one you're going to use heavily in the programming is going to be string number and big int you're going to use because sometime what will happen that you're going to fetch the price of any token from the contract or from the blockchain you have to convert it so this big int will help you a lot and boolean is also very important and undefined is also a very important topic which you have to master because sometime what happened that when you will make an api call and it will give you an undefined because sometime the data takes a little bit time in loading so you have to know that how you have to deal with that so you sometime you're going to use this undefined variable build a logic and symbol is totally optional and null is also not that important but you can use it so these are the topics you have to master in primitive data type try to build at least one or two examples and it will not take you more than half an hour to understand all of this after that you have to move to the type operators this one is also a very simple logic you have to check the type of the data so sometimes what will happen that you are getting any data from the api or are building any logic so sometime you will give a number but it's it's a string so you have to know that how you can use the type operator type of operator to check the data type then comes the object in object we have this two type protopile inheritance and prototype so you have to know that how you can use this data and build a logic around it so you have to know this one is a little complex you have to know that how the function call and if you follow one or two practical examples on this you can easily able to understand that how it's work now comes the build in object so inside the build in object we have couple of variables like we have error we have boolean we have number we have math we have string so these are the build in object you will find in javascript in data type i want you to understand all of these variables and how you can declare what are their default values how it's work there are a lot of things in data types but these are the most important things you will find when you will actually work in your project so you have to get yourself familiar and you have to know that how each one of these work and now we have the data structure as you all know that data structure is the most important topic for any programming language no matter what language you work on every single language has a data structure and if you want to build any logic if you want to build any application you have to know the data structure so it's a really a very important topic so inside the data structure we have this three components we have the key collection we have the index collection we have the structured data so inside the key collection we have these couple of methods we have the map we have the weak map we have the set and we have the weak set so you have to know that how it will work again i will not go into details if you guys really want me to create a pair playlist on each of this methods each of this function then definitely do let me know in the comment section so i'm going to make a javascript playlist where we're going to focus only those thing which you have to master and i will share with some practical code so these are the key collection now comes the structured data inside the structured data we have the json and json is a very light form of data so whatever api request you will make whether it's on the blockchain or whether it's in the any api storage you will get the data back in the json format so you have to know that how you can irritate the data how you can render the data in the json format so you have to know how the data is <laughs> so you have to know that how the json work then comes the index collection so in that index collection we have this two type we have type array and we have array so the data will be in a simple error and it should be in the type array means there is a nested array so there is a tons of thing we you can structure your data so you have to know that what are the ways how you can structure data and how you can retrieve the data inside the an array or inside a mapping so that's a very important thing you have to know so that's the only thing you have to learn about in the data structure in javascript let's move to the next one now we have the loops and iteration so these are the following topics you have to cover because what will happen when you will build your applications you're going to get the data from the server or you will build any logic by taking an array you have to use some sort of breaks some sort of loops to render your components and along with the logic so you have to know that what are the like 
power you have how you can define what are the restriction you have to declare a loop okay definitely you don't want to run an infinite loop otherwise that's not a good performance so these are the following topics you have to cover like break continue for loop while do while statement while have the while statement for in statement and for off statement so these are the following things you have to cover again I want you to give one hour try to understand that how to structure that and how you can predict different output in that way you will have very good understanding and you can start using straight away because whatever I'm highlighting here I have used in my project and on the base of that I build this particular roadmap for the JavaScript developer now let's move to the next one now comes the equality comparison and this one is also really important because you have to build logic and how are you going to do that you're going to use some sort of logic some sort of statement and that's what we have to learn about it so we have two modules we have the conditional statement we have the exceptional handling so inside the conditional statement you will find the if else statement and it one is the most common and frequent use method you will find for checking certain condition and the second one we have is switch case so you have this alternative instead of using this both have their advantages it's totally up to you that which one you are familiar with but in the, but, but in the most programming language in the most program you will find that they use if else statement instead of this so you have to know both one of this after that let's come to the exceptional handling inside the exceptional handling we have this three method we have the throw statement we have the try catch finally and we have utilizing error object so what will happen that if you are building any logic and you want to catch an error if anything goes wrong inside the api call or maybe you have built some logic which is not compatible and it's throwing an error so uh, you have some statement which you can use inside your statement inside your condition to identify that what exactly went wrong so you have to know that how throw a work how try catch work how utilizing error object work because when you will deal with the api when you will build the logic you're going to use this statement for asynchronous code so this is what you have to master in equality comparison let's come to the next one we have the function so function has a lot of methods a lot of way to build a logic but here i'm going to highlight the most common one which we use in our project so if we talk about the function we have the function you have a function in that you have to pass certain parameter to get an output then we have the arrow function we have then we have this then we have IIEF, then we have argument object, then we have the scope and function stack, then we have the build and function. So these are the couple of things you have to know that what is scope and function stack. I just want you to understand that how exactly function call work. And that's going to be very important when you will make an API call or when we try to call one function first and the other one. In that context, you have to know that how this stack work exactly. So these are the couple of things you have to master in terms of function. Now let's come back to the expressions and operators. And here we have the couple of things which you have to learn. The first one we have this assignment operator, compression operator, bitwise operator, logical operator, conditional operator, and string operator. So these are the methods you have to learn about it that how you can declare it what are the things each stand for and how you can build a logic around it because if you look at all the project we have built like it has close to we i have close to 2022 20, project on my channel if you look at that we are using all of this heavily in our project so i want you to do a little bit research on each one of this try to practically build one or two function around this and that will clear it out it will not take more than an hour with with a good research so let's come to the next one and now we have the asynchronous so you have to know that how asynchronous code work what are things comes into the picture how you can render the data how it's behave and this one you will find extremely when you will use the modules when you will use the react next years but if you are using the plain javascript you can use that in but you mostly you will find this in the react or any framework you use for building your application so inside that we have a couple of methods we have set timeout set interval callbacks callback help promises async await so these are the topics you have to know this one you're going to use heavily when you will make an api call or when you're going to in interact with the smart contract and you're going to get the data from the smart contract so you're going to use all of this extensively then we have this working with an api so i want you to be good with an api because no matter what kind of application you will build somehow or the other you're going to interact or you're going to use any type of api for getting the data in your application so we have a couple of methods that how you can retrieve the data so we have this is the first method we have this http request then we have the fetch which is an inbuilt function in the javascript then we have the popular library xes then we have the javascript 
iterator and then we have the event loop so these are the couple of things you have to know that how each one of this work how its syntax get written and how you can use it in your program so i want you to cover these topics only there are a lot but these are the topics main topics you have to focus on to learn about the asynchronous javascript now we have the last two modules which you have to know you have to know that how the classes exactly work again it's a really vast topic I don't want to highlight a specific thing. I want you to master the complete classes that how you can declare the classes, how you can call the methods inside the classes and how you're going to use the same module function which you will define in the classes in multiple places. So classes are very important and it will save a lot of your time because you don't need to write the same repetitive code over and over again in multiple places. All you have to do is to build the class model and use the function in your application and you are ready to go. Okay, so you have to cover everything which is there in the classes and I want you to give two days in this particular one. Now we have the model. Again, we have two types of model. We have the ECMA 6 model, ES model and we have the common JS model. So in 2018, we have got this ECMA 6 model, which brings a lot of power to the front end developers, which they can use. So these are the following topics I want you to master. Again, this will not take more than 10 days if you give one to two hours every single day. So give at least one hour to the variable. Try to understand that what are things are there in the variable and how you can declare that. After that, move to the data types, then move to the data structure. Again, this will take like close to one day if you give your 100%. And then we have the equality comparison. This will also take one or two hours if you give your 100% focus. Loops, again, they are very simple in nature. All you have to know is to understand that how things work exactly. And we're going to have a complete project using only these particle models, which we can see here. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Then we have the control flow. Then we have the data structure. Then the function async working with an API class models and models. So this is the complete roadmap which you have to follow in the next 10 days. If you follow this particular topic, you are almost ready to build any type of applications using JavaScript. So I want you to be focused. And as you go ahead, as you go ahead in your career as a developer, you will learn more. And I believe in practical learning. I believe in that the more project you will build, the more learning you will have. It will waste your time and it will make you confused. So it's better to follow and build project and learn along with that. When you will use all the syntax practically, that's going to stick in your head for a longer time. So this is the complete 10 days roadmap for a blockchain developer, for a beginner who just want to learn JavaScript. This is what you have to follow. And again, guys, if you want me to create a playlist about the JavaScript and whatever we have covered the topics, if you want me to create a practical examples, build a functionality, explain you that how you can do that, then do let me know in the comment section that you guys want a playlist in JavaScript so I can make it so you guys can follow that and you guys can understand. OK, this is how you can utilize it. And we're going to build a project. If you guys want me to build a project using this particular topics, then definitely do let me know in the comment section which we're going to cover after the playlist. So do let me know that you guys want a playlist on this. So I'll definitely come with that. So hope you guys have got an idea that what you have to learn and how you have to start. So just follow the complete roadmap for the next 10 days and let me know that what you have learned. So with that, I'm ending this video. And if you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot to come up with this kind of roadmap and project. And if you haven't checked all the projects we have built on the channel, that will give you some real world project development experience and you will learn a lot so with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye bye